Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Thanks so much for stopping by. We are going to be doing my one month ahead or debt binder, whichever you are trying to accomplish in your life. I want to thank, I'm not going to say her name just in case, but I want to thank um, a viewer who actually reached out to me and let me know how much of a help it was for me to do this binder. I have been really debating taking it off my channel because I know it causes confusion because I don't have debt. So I'm using it to just demonstrate how I save one month for all my expenses in the next. But even though I had, don't have debt, she said for some reason watching the video that day, it clicked with her about how you can save and then empty the binder out at the end of the month. And you don't have to finish your challenges. You can just get right back to them the next month. That comment meant so much to me, and therefore, I won't be discontinuing doing this video. I'll still do it two times, because when I can help people, that's what I do this for, right? I publish videos four times a week, often more, specifically because I want to be able to reach people and help people on their budgeting journeys. Thank you so much for your comment. I will be keeping this binder. Let's get right down to it. Now, I did do this one time off camera. Remember, I told you that. If I am only publishing a video twice a week, it doesn't mean I only do it twice a week. I'm just trying to get everything into my schedule a little bit. And I like to do lots of different things, not only because I enjoy that for me, but because as a content creator, I want to get information out to you so that I can try to reach as many people as possible and help them on their budgeting journeys. What do we got today? 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 174. When we're all done, if I've done everything right, this whole binder is going to equal $520. Got my paper here. And I've got my book over here for when I need it. Let's get going. I am going to be finishing a bunch of these today, which I was not necessarily uh, expecting. When I finish them, I'm going to date the challenge and put the money over here, and the challenge is going to go in my box. And when I'm all done, all the money should add up. So, well, I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to finish this one, so I'm going to date it. And this is going to be uh, a lot of fun because I'm going to be able to go and pull a lot of fun new challenges for next month. And I will be using a lot of the same creators, but I might change some up. I don't know. And this last five in here for Madeline. And this is done with $25. We're going to do the completion date on this as 721. And I'm going to put that right aside from there. All righty, girl mama budgets. That is this challenge right here. And I do a six sided dice. Let's roll it, see how many of these I'm going to finish today. And four, and I shouldn't say how many, I'm only gonna finish to this row, but we'll see how much I have when I'm done. And five, so $9 is going into this challenge today. And how much did I save this month in this challenge? So I'm gonna to need to take out the actual one, two, three, four. And 10, but 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 dollars saved in this this month. I was writing that on there. I forgot last month, but that's okay. I'll write it on there for this month. Okay, and what do we have next? We have Zen Craftivity. I've got a couple of hers in here. We are going to be finishing this one. I'll put this one in here for next month. All right, and what do we have? Pretty sure I'm using the dark green. I am, and we have $15. When I'm all done, this should save me $55, and I can tell it's going to. All right, and this got done also on 721. Put that over here and put this money back here. Kind of a mess last week, but that's okay. I'll uh, sort it all out fast forward. I love it when people do that. Okay, and on this one, we're making progress on this little one right here. And we're going to do the uh, five of these, the much, oh, and the period in the six, I think, six of these. And then we'll continue to work on this next month, which I think we're going to finish it. 
This is from Lady Die Saves. I love this one. I like to color in things like letters and such. It's kind of fun. It's a, something a little different. I really enjoy it. But we're going to do this and this for six. And then I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do these. So we're going to put $7 in this today. And five, six, seven. This is not done, so we'll just be pulling out the money. How much did I save in there today or this month? Ten, fifteen, twenty, one, two, three, and twenty-four dollars. Fantastic! Yay! Okay, next, Ali Bear budgets. Sadly enough, I do think this is going to be the last time I do this challenge. Let's use this green right here, and let's roll it. We have six. So one, two, three, three, four, five. Five, six, okay, so we got a milkshake at three dollars. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Got a burger for a dollar. And one more dollar, one more. Five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's just go and get all these done so I know I'm gonna finish it. Or, yeah, because this is not enough to do it for all next month. So one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and 14 more dollars. So 14 plus six would be 20. Well, that worked out. Okie dokie. That was more than, actually than I thought was in there, but that's okay. And I do believe I have more from Allie Bear. Yes, I do. I have one right in here for her. So I'm gonna take this out and leave those in there. And what did I save in here this, this month? Let's do this real quick. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if I have enough ones. So we'll do this. 25, 35, 36, and $37. Fantastic. Oh. Got to get this rid of this. It's going to go in my box of finished challenges. 721. All right. I don't know why I put that pin there. Steph's on a budget. This is another one that's going to make me sad because it's so darn cute. Look at this thing. $5 for each one. But, you know, at some point in time, we have to part with the things that bring us joy. And today will be this one. This little guy is so darn cute. Go check out Steph's on a budget stuff. She has really cute stuff. I really enjoy it. I was doing uh, $5 an icon, so $10 is going to be there for this month. Another one finished. Ooh, I got in some new cardstock type paper. I wonder if I'm going to like it. It's not as soft to the touch as that, but it seems to be very durable, and it may not be as much of an issue as my cardstock when it comes to printing. So this one's getting today... 10, 20, 30. I hope I just didn't mess that up. I'll know if I don't have $520. All right, this next one. Oh, see, I did. This $20 would here, I think. Twenty thirty-five for Steph's on a budget. Yeah, Whew. glad I caught that. Okay, next. Below budgets, and we're going to take everything there. I've got another one over here ready to go. Let's put the money right here. And I don't think we need to roll for this this time. We're just gonna mark these off. I have two, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, and $20. I think I got all of this done all in one setting this month. 20, 35, 41, two, three, and four, $44. Excellent back there. 
seven twenty one is the finish date. We'll put that in there. It'll be fine. But I have one ready to go for hers for next month. And this one right here, Chatty Cathy, and I have another one ready to go. I am doing this challenge right here, just coloring the circles at $3 each one. It's quite rewarding coloring those circles. And this gets 12 more dollars, 10, 11, and 12. Saving us this month, and by us, I mean me, which feels like you and me, 721, 20, 30, 41, 2, 3, 4, and 45 dollars. Yay! Okay, this one I only have, well, I have four left. Let's scratch. Three dollars. Oh, 30. <laughs> I'm like, three dollars. Did I have a three on this? 30 dollars. That's going to be enough for my scratch offs period today. 20 and 30. I may not even get to the rest of these anyhow. We're going to skip this today because that was such a high dollar scratch. And 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, and 68 dollars. All right. Let me see. I can do just a little on this if I need. I don't need to play shut the box. Okay. I think we can do, I think we can finish this one today. I think it'll work. Or I can leave them for next. Nah, let's just finish it up. If there's another one that stays here. I guess it can stay here. So this is going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. No, I can't finish it all. Let's do, let's do just one. Let's do just one of these and that will leave enough to do like three each time next month. All right, getting three more dollars. Let's put these two and this five back and grab a 10. 10, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, and 39 dollars. And this one will go back in. This is my challenge, cocktail critters. I love all these cute critter themes. I'm coming up with something really fun with them in a little bit. And this one I'll come back to. It's kind of like my leftover that I can use. I want to make sure I get this one done. And this is getting $2 per inside circle here. So we're going to finish this up. Two, four, six, eight, ten on seven twenty-one. Ten dollars $10. And this saved me. Should be $30 this month. 10, 20, 30. Shut the box. Let's do this one first. Okay. And today... 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's just do $1 for each one. And that'll complete this challenge. 5, 6, 7, and 8. And this saved me 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, and 23. And this is from our beautiful budgets. And I have some more of hers in here that we're going to be doing next month as well. My clicker is weird on that. Okay. Now those are just future ones. Shut the box. How much do I have left? You know what? I actually have enough to finish this one. Let's go ahead and do it because then I can bring another one in next month. Okay. I'm going to color these in and be right back. Five, 10, 15, 20, and 21. It's going into there. Oops, this is done. All right. And shut the box. Okay, I shouldn't have enough because I'm doing um, one for each uncolored box. Today, let's do orange and this color of blue. And because I want to have fun, I'm doing it with my one big dice. And I have a six and a three, which is nine. Fun.
and two and one is a three. And two and four is a six. And a six again, so we'll have to do the five and the one. And four and two, ooh, I thought it was done for. It's like, oh no, I can't do it. But I four and two is actually available. So now I need a seven or an eight. That's all that can help me. If not, I'm gonna owe four dollars. And I got 10, that does not help me. Okay, so I'll be saving $4. That is not bad as we shut the boxers no. Is that what we are, shut the boxers? Is that what we are, Renee? Or shut the box nerds, that's for sure. Okay, $4 going into this challenge. And of course, we're just continuing this on to next month. One, two, three, and four. All right, now the last one to get emptied I got them all, is this one right here. Let's see how much money is going into this one this month. On my channel, I have this one with twos and threes. I also have one with ones. These make a great little catch-all. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and $15. I'm gonna leave it here in case I get it confused. I started this with dark green. So let me see, three, I need $15. five, seven, and then now I need eight dollars, and I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do this purple, and I need another eight dollars. And this is gonna make $15 for this one. I'm gonna empty it out, and we'll finish it probably next month. How much did this save this month? It always saves all the little tiny stuff. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 46. That was a good amount. Okay, let me clear all this stuff out and I'll be right back. First, my box O completed challenges. Boom, boom, look at that box. I hope I can barely close the lid by the end of the year. Now, I'm going to speed you up. I'm gonna go through all this money and then we're gonna count it and make sure I have $520. I'll start while I'm talking to you for just a minute. If you are using this binder to pay off debt, this is what I would really like you to do. Empty this out at the end of the month, take this money and make yourself a great big old debt payment. Extra payment, however much, maybe you wanna divide it into a few payments, does not matter. But what I really wanna encourage people to do is not leave your money sitting in the bank or sitting in an envelope while it's doing nothing for you while the bank is charging you interest, right? That is just not what we want. Okay, I'm gonna finish and be right back. Okay, I've got some paper clips here. I'm gonna super duper speed you up so that I can count this and see if it equals the 520. All right, I equal $520. So now this money I am going to be using to stuff into my highly budgeted next month's sinking funds. As I have admitted to before, I could easily just hold on to that money in my bank as a buffer because it's sitting here doing nothing for me anyhow, right? But I choose to do it this way because I wanna show people how to use savings challenges in fun ways so that they can make the processes that we do on a regular basis a little more fun. Not everybody has a lot of money to save, but they wanna have fun playing with their savings challenges, et cetera. I am a firm believer that anything that gets you touching your money and having tactile experiences with the numbers in your bank, whether it be real money, prop money, it doesn't matter when you're thinking about your budget, you're thinking about your spending, you're controlling your budget, you're spending intentionally, and you're living a better life. So take a walk if you can, like, subscribe, all those wonderful things. Until the next one, bye.